Hello and welcome to One Club Champ. My name is Gary and we are in season number four and this is episode six. In episode six, we go through two games, the first games of the season. We go through the 27 players we have signed. Some of them are some wonderful journeyman players. I'll let you know one right now. Dwight Gale has signed for Buck CC. Yep, that's right. He has come to Buck CC to score some goals. One more promotion and we get ourselves into the Vanarama South, which is kind of unheard of for Buck CC. The other things we're looking at in this save, we're going to look at the finances, we're going to look at our season last year where we got 102 points and got ourselves promoted again. Uh, but let's have a dive in. We've got two games. Welcome to the save and let's go. So here we are in the season of 23-24. It is now our fourth season, but let's take a look at where we finished last season to get ourselves promoted. As you can see here, we were in the Pitching in Isthmian League South Central Division. We finished first. We won 33 out of the 38 games and finished with a record-breaking 102 points. Scored 101 goals, allowed 30 to go in, which is not bad, only 30 goals in 38. Finished with a goal difference of 71. So we pretty much destroyed that division there. Now the thing, as you know, with a lower league save is just by the time you get to really like the players that you have, they basically get poached away. So we had a player called Matty Vigor who ended up scoring 40 goals for us last year. And over the pre-season, unfortunately, was poached away to go to Dover. So as you can see here, Maddie Vigor, 38 games, 40 league goals, scored 44 in all competitions. And that's it. We had one season of Matty Vigor and he is gone. The other thing is, same thing happened with Ao Oberly, again off to Stockport, Keaton Ward off to Westfields, Imani Lankudok, He's off to Hales Owen. Uh, Daniel Ngoma off again to Hales Owen. So if you look, Hales Owen poached three of our players and Loftborough University poached a couple as well. This is just what happens in a lower league save. I mean, what does it mean? It means that we're doing really good recruiting to find players that, are pl that have the ability to play at a much higher standard than the one that we are in. So... We have signed 27 players for the new season and we find ourselves basically one more league away, one promotion away from the Vanarama South and North divisions. So let's go and have a look at who we have brought in because we have some journeyman players that have been knocking around and they've somehow been released by their clubs in the championship or league one and now they find themselves at Buck CC. So here we go, Ryan Reynolds, not the actor, but Ryan Reynolds, the uh, Cardiff City defender, comes in. Uh, I really like this guy, I think six foot two, he's got some pace and acceleration of 15, tackling of 14, could be better at eight, uh, with better heading with eight. I uh, like his work rate, good leadership, good determination, he slots in at centre back. Damani Hunter, released by Watford. Um, good young striker. I think he has the opportunity of getting a few games off the bench for us. Joe Griffiths is a new gen player from Chelsea. Comes in as probably our best player. Uh, he will sit in as a ball winning centre midfielder. Who else? Ryan Delaney, another centre back. Who else? Barry Douglas. Now Barry Douglas probably is the best player I've signed in a lower league save before. He was on loan to Derby last year and now comes down to level seven. Still got excellent statistics for his technical ability, corners and crossing and free kick taking. And uh, great mentals. Obviously, the physicals have just dropped off a cliff, but we can still support him with a young player in the last few minutes of each of the games. It says he's a fringe player past his best, but he will be our starting left back. Enoch. Mwonge, released by Watford, again a young centre midfielder, comes in, into our team with a good potential of three to four stars. 
Here's our backup to Barry Douglas, Cole Barden, released from Bournemouth. Malky Bohr, who again, released from Bournemouth. He, he potentially could be one of our better players this year. Pre-season has scored six goals in seven games. Young striker can play as an inverted winger. Who else do we have here? Michael Olakigbe, released from Fulham, a pacey wide player. Again, with good dribbling, good technique, coming off the bench most likely this year. Connor Curran Brown, released by Bournemouth. I really like this guy. He can play on both wings, dribbling a 14, technique of 13, pace and acceleration. He's got some good player traits of running down the right and hugging a line. And I think he's going to be excellent for us if we can keep him. Lachlan Brook, released from Brentford. He is a Australian forward. Again, uh, left-footed, can play wide or through the middle. Miles Lieburn, released by Charlton. And uh, I think probably Carl Lieburn's son. Uh, so that's a, a nice little one for those of you that go back to the early 90s. Dribbling a 14, finishing a 14. Got some pace and acceleration. Good physicals as well. Look at this guy. Here we go. Uh, Syriac. Mayunga, who was released by QPR, but also of Wolves and of Olympic Lyon. Centre back, six foot two, good physicals, good mentals. Technique of 10 for a centre back is not bad at all. Uh, 22, Central African International. Who else do we have here? Lyle Taylor. Now, Lyle Taylor is our best player statistically for our team. Released by Nottingham Forest, he is a journeyman player. 33 years old, has been at Charlton, had a great stint at Wimbledon and hasn't played much over the last couple of years. But if you look at him, Lyle Taylor, he comes in as a as a coach as well. So that was one of the things that we managed to get him, give him a coaching role, finishing, technique, pretty good mentals, uh, some excellent uh, player traits. He's done well pre-season, seven goals in six games. Lyle Taylor will be our starting forward along with, and check this out, Dwight Gale. Dwight Gale is a finisher. He is a fox in a box. He's been released by Millwall. Obviously, he's at Newcastle in his current career, and he's made his way all the way down to level seven to play for Bucks. He's going to be a great uh, centre forward for us. Again, his physicals have started to drop. Uh, but technique-wise, in this division, he is going to be a great forward for us. And then Junior Hoylet is currently at Cardiff. He will come in and play on the wide areas for us. Still great technical, some decent uh, mentals. And uh, he has he's an ambitious personality, so good for the mentoring and an experienced winger. Who else do we have here? Nick Powell. Once a, uh, a touted, highly touted player, had some England international, uh, England under 21 international appearances. Currently at Stoke in r the real world. Um, not so many great player traits, winds up opponents, but uh, has likes overhead kicks, tries tricks, runs with the ball often. Physicals are no good, but technique and a mental ability is okay. Good flair as well. So Nick Powell's in. I will try to pronounce this name. Here he is, Thanawa Sugichwayon. I probably butchered that name, but he is at Leicester City in his current career. I mean, look at these stats for a level seven player released by Oxford. He's going to be great for us. He's only 5'6", but technically he's one of our better players. And then we thought, even though our goalkeeper last year, he only managed 30 clean sheets out of the 38 games, We've brought in somebody with a bit more experience. Again, great goalkeeping statistics for this level. Released by Stockport, he'll be our starting goalkeeper for us. Lars Dendonka, who uh, is a Brighton kind of reject. Uh, I think he's the younger brother of the more famous Dendonka. He will come in and sit in our kind of DLP role. Um, can also play in centre-back. Uh, Olesiun Cisse, 32 year old, six foot five, box to box midfielder. Got a lot of time for this guy. He can also play at the centre back, probably as a ball playing centre back. He gives us great experience. Uh, Aram Solman, again, a tricky winger, can play on both flanks, 
natural fitness, good flair, good dribbling, was released by Leighton Orient. So he does a nice job for us off the bench, I think. And then at fullback is Dion Kelly Evans, who was at Kings Lynn last year in the National Vanarama National League. So a couple of leagues up from us. Played all year round. He will come in at fullback for us. Looking at our tactic, again, 4-4-2. Well, with the more attacking uh, in inverted winger for Hoylet. Curran Brown on the wide flanks. Gale and Taylor as the two centre midfields. Thanawat as the DLP. The new gen Griffiths as the uh, ball winning midfielder. Barry Douglas at left back. Kelly Evans at right back. Mayunga and Reynolds as the two centre-backs and Henderson as the goalkeeper. As you can see, we have got a ton of players waiting in reserve for us because, as we know, we lose players. We have no contracts with them. Um, and if a bigger club comes in, they are gone. And with this kind of approach, we have a ready-made replacement in there. You also, across the cups, if you want to rest some players and make sure that they're fresh for the league, this is great to just give these players a few more minutes. If we go into the development centre, again, our under 23s and our under 18s, if we go into our under 18s, only a little bit of talent, not nothing too much. Probably our most, our big, best prospect here is Lucas Fontaine, who's a 16-year-old goalkeeper. But none of these players apart from Eric Natambi, are really going to be good enough as we go through these divisions. And once we get the facilities up, we'll be good. So, promoted three years in a row. Here we go with our first game of the new season. We are going to be playing against Taunton. If we go into the league and have a little look at what the, uh, the season preview is, we are dominating the Media Dream 11. We have the full back four, the four in midfield, and the two forwards. We are predicted to be promoted um, at a 1 to 48 odds. Not very good at all uh, if you're a betting person. But we're looking to be promoted again. We have assembled a great team for this level. And so let's get stuck in. Here we go. First game of the season against Taunton away from home. Uh, the selection advice is to drop a few of these players, but we are gonna. I'm gonna stick with who I want to stick with. On the bench is Adam Reeve, who is a, a, a regen from Watford, and then the bunch of these boys here just waiting for their debuts. Submit this team. Yeah, here we go. All right, so Taunton away. They finished fifth last season in this league, so this will be a good um, this will be a good bet to see how we do. Point finger. Let's say it's over to you. Have a good one, and then we're just going to say that we have faith in them. And here we go. I'm looking here. We are playing in our third kit. It is the first time we have played in our third kit away from home. Here we go, long throw from Kelly Evans. Thanawat brings it back to Kelly Evans and Curran Brown scores the first goal of the season. Only took four minutes. And we are 1-0 up away to Taunton. It's a really well-worked goal there. I've set Kelly Evans up to do a long throw into the box, so I found that interesting that he only dropped it off deep to Thanawa. Come on, boys, get hold of that ball. Ball down the side to Philpot, cleared by Mayunga. Oh, that's a nice finish. Oh, it's disallowed. We got away with that one. Could have, would have been an instant response to our goal. So the, obviously the thing about a new team and signing so many players in the turnover is that you, yes, you do get a settled lineup by the end of the season. Barry Douglas with a long throw into the box there. Junior Hoylet with a header. I think he's only five foot eight. So the fact that he's rose like a salmon to head over the goalkeeper there is kind of uh, kind of comical 
But what a long throw by Barry Douglas there. Junior Hoyler with the little little nudge off his head and we are 2-0 up on the first day of the season. So anyway, as I was saying, the thing that is the, the thing that holds you back when you sign so many players and you don't really retain that many is because you can never really get that team chemistry up. It's hard to get those lines between the fullbacks because by the time they do, they're sold. Lyle Taylor there went for the little cheeky lob over the goalkeeper. And we tell we say that we want to always press Taylor Thane of Taunton. Here we go, another long throw. Barry Douglas launches it, Rory Delap esque into the box, and this time it is caught by Callum Ward. Big kick. Barry Douglas is back there just to set it back into Thanawat, back into Barry Douglas. Thanawat again with the ball, dictating the play. Griffiths ball over the top. Lyle Taylor. Three nil. 44th minute. Lyle Taylor scores the first goal of his career. It's a debut goal as well. That's a lovely finish. Thanawat into Griffiths, who just drops it over the top. And Lyle Taylor with a cultured little side foot finish to put us 3 0 up going into half time. And well, there you go. Looking at this, we are flying. Go into the dressing room. What do we want to say? We want open arms, outstretched arms. Very pleased. Keep it going, lads. Everyone's having a good game. I think we want to be. Just go and have a little look at the second half. We've only allowed Taunton to have one shot or two shots now, none on target. 3 0 up. We are comfortably uh, doing well here. All right, Danzo with the ball out to the left. Good save by the 35 year old Henderson getting down low there to palm it away for a corner. Now, one of the things that we also did over the season is we did look at our set pieces, and the other day I sat here and did 16 individual free kick routines long throws, defending corners, uh, all of that stuff. And it's paid dividends here because we've scored off of throw-ins. Philpot is in, and there you go. Jamie Philpot scored early in the second half. It's 3-1. And I think what we'll do is we'll just go a little more cautious and we're going to tell Mayunga just to mark him. And then... Let's just pause right now. We've got about 20 minutes left of the game. We've got a couple of, of these little half hearts. I'd say Dwight Gale will stay on. Junior Hoylet. I, I think let's take off Junior Hoylet. And we want to bring on the young Malky Boar. And we'll also take off Thanawat. And we'll bring on... Let's bring on... Then Donka. Okay, so Jamie Philpot has scored for the for Taunton, brings it to three one. We haven't had a great second half so far. Lyle Taylor out to Den Donka, who just came on, back into Lyle Taylor, through ball into Dwight Gale. That's a bad finish for a player of his caliber. And it might be time. Let's pause this right here. Let's take off Dwight Gale and we'll give uh, Okara Simmons a go up front who did a, had a great season for us last year. Throw in to Taunton. Reynolds clears the ball and Lyle Taylor with a good ball into Okara Simmons and can we break? Ball out into the Bar into Barry Douglas, who is playing out that wide left, and now we're on. Now we're trying to defend against this counter. Uh oh, Kelly Evans is about to get sent off, and he is done. And we are down to ten men with the, with about five minutes to go, I would say. So let's have a little look at this tactics and let's see. We want to take off. We can't, we've already made our subs here. So I think it might be time 
to see if we can play Griffiths over into this area, drop Lyle Taylor into there and just leave Simmons in this role here. And then we're just gonna go defensive for the final four minutes. That long throw again into the box, caught by Ward. Last couple of minutes, can we not concede? And then if 3-2 would make it really interesting, and that's a, that's a nice shot for us to have to defend. Last couple of minutes, free kick, high up the field. Oh, Syriac, Mayunga with his debut goal. Barry Douglas, what a, what a cross by Barry Douglas, picking out the big man at the back post. And we have found ourselves 4-1 up. And I tell you what, playing around with those free kicks has done ourselves uh, done ourselves a great favour there. We've scored a lot of goals off of set pieces today. Uh-oh, no one on the edge of the box. <laughs> Griffiths with a great headed clearance. And now we are on the counter. Okra Simmons gets away. He is one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And he makes no mistake, that is 5-1. We've scored two goals with 10 men in the last two minutes of the game. What a, what a great finish this is by Okura Simmons. He's got a lot of time, one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper. And he does what Dwight Gale couldn't do, and that is to score with some of his chances. Well done, Okura. Boom, and there you go. 5-1 away win on the start of the season. We've got goals from Curran Brown, Junior Hoylet, Lyle Taylor, Mayunga and Okra Simmons. Man of the match, Barry Douglas. Barry Douglas, what a great, what a great play. What a great game for him. Let's have a little look, breaking that down. Six key passes, two assists on the day. And he might be old, but he has still got, still got some magic in those boots. A good, good win for the boys. And let's just pick out an individual here, Barry Douglas and say that outstretched arms, he, he impressed me there. And there we go. So 5-1 away win is from our first game of the season. That is some good omens moving into the rest of this season. Even though Kelly Evans got sent off with two minutes to go, we still managed to extend our lead and we're sitting top of the league after the first game. So here we go. We are gonna play game number two of this episode. After our 5-1 win, we're now playing Tiverton at home. We are sat fourth after one game, uh, which obviously doesn't really matter too much. We've made a couple of uh, different signings, or we're trying to bring in a couple more. I know you're saying, we just signed 27, you still need more. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so uh, let me introduce you. This is Manuel Hidalgo. He hasn't signed yet. We've offered him a contract. He will come in. He was at uh, Sheffield United. Um, he looks like he's going to be the real deal if we can get him in. We're also looking at Tristan Kramer as well from Brentford. Again, another centre-back, but he's 21 uh, with a bit of flint, uh, French flair. And then Harry Ransom, uh, released from Millwall, kind of a bit of a no-nonsense centre-back, will uh, come in. Hopefully, uh, these three will sign contracts. So, Tiverton Town, tactical meeting. We're asking for a, a lot of changes, but we're not gonna make any of them at all. Uh, the only change really that we need to make tactically is to put in a new fullback instead of Kelly Evans. So let's go and do that and put in Adam Reeve. And we want to put in a new kind of player to maybe, I'd say should we give Damani, uh, yeah, let's give uh, Damani Hunter a go on the bench. Or maybe we need to have a look at who could play in right back. Lars Dendonka can go there. Here we go. Ola Kigby could go on in at that position. So let's put Ola Kigby on the bench. I wouldn't say they're all tired, but they've got full green hearts. Um, they've got a few of them are still picking up and gaining in sharpness and their morale is pretty high. Yeah, their match load is kind, some of them are heavy, 
um, because they're trying to build up fitness. So we've played them in a few under 23 games, but let's submit. Douglas, Hoyler and Gale are lacking match sharpness. Yep, we're proceeding. Let's go to the match. Uh, mark tightly into the dressing room point finger go out there and finished off again we just tell the players that we've got faith in there to go and make a difference and here we go playing in our home kit of maroon and sky blue against tiverton in their yellow and the first highlight goes to tiverton cross into the box and it is one nil Billy Krask with the goal in the first two minutes. That is not a good start. Out of our playbook, that is, from a set piece. They scored with their first chance of the game. Goal kick to Henderson, who launches it pretty far, and it's recovered by Tiverton. And Christie seems to be dribbling without anyone putting in a tackle. Ball over the top and Mayunga heads it clear into Junior Hoylet with a ball over the top. No, headed clear again. Tiverton with the bulk of the possession and Curran Brown gets it and he breaks away. Through ball into Lyle Taylor and he has dispatched that home with some authority there. That is 1-1. That's a decent finish. No finesse in that one. He just smashed this as hard as possible. Curran Brown with a lovely through ball. And there you go. That is how you finish from 12 yards out. 1-1 one, one after 10 minutes. We'll have to obviously monitor the, the health status of our players as we go through it because they've, uh, we haven't really changed the lineup too much from the first game. And some of them are older players and will have less conditioning than the young ones. Adam Reeve with a ball around the corner, headed clear into Curran Brown, back to Griffiths, back into Thanawa. And he's obviously looking for Dwight Gale there, but Hull comes out to clear and it's a long punt. Great tackle by Ryan Reynolds. And Adam Reeve has now got the ball. Another long ball, hopelessly played in there. And it's gone through <laughs> to Henderson with the theatrical save. Henderson with the long kick into Lyle Taylor. And again, he is absolutely... <laughs> a lovely little, uh, little cartwheel. He is clinical, is Lyle Taylor. Look at this. Pump from the goalkeeper, straight over the top. And just like a few minutes earlier, he hits this with power, low in the corner, and that is his third goal in two games, and we are 2-1 up after 30 minutes. Lyle Taylor, good signing. Barry Douglas with the free kick. Oh, that would have been his hat trick. But can we just appreciate that free kick from Barry Douglas there? He has got a wand of a left foot. Not quite as good as the wand from Ray and Clark. Oh, <laughs> Barry Douglas with a free kick from distance and that is palmed away by the Tiverton goalkeeper. Douglas with the corner and it has been uh, headed over. We are a real threat from set pieces, especially with Barry Douglas's left foot. 2-1 up at half time and we're just gonna basically say just to keep it going. I think we need a little bit more from Dwight Gale. So I'm just going to ask him just a little bit more to come from him. Lyle Taylor, let's tell him that we are very happy with his performance so far. Junior Hoy, I need a bit more from you. Curran Brown, very happy so far. Barry Douglas, just very happy with him. And Henderson with that set up, delighted with his performance. Okay, let's go out there and get it. We'll probably give Dwight Gale another 20 minutes before we give one of the young lads some time off the bench. Curran Brown with the, the corner. And Mayunga scores his second goal in two games. Again, from the corner, another set piece. And we are turning out to be somewhat of a Sam Allardyce special here. Just with court scoring from set pieces. 
Syriac Mayunga rising high in this in the six shard box and we are now three one up. B Barry Douglas is down here on a yellow card and he has got a uh, kind of a half 50% heart which says he's probably not going to last the game. Curran Brown with the ball and he's played it round the corner and Lyle Taylor is in and they saved him from scoring his hat trick there. Corner ball, Barry Douglas. Get that wand out, Barry. Here we go. Cross it in. Headed clear. Not sure why one of the two fullbacks didn't come up to, to get that centre forward there. Okay, 30 minutes to go, and I think it's now time for us to bring off Hoylet and let's give uh, Malaki a go. And Barry Douglas, let's just take him off and bring on Cole Barden for the remainder of the game. And there we go, let's get this started. 30, last 30 minutes, 3 1 up. Free kick to Tiverton, headed clear by Ryan Reynolds. And Dwight Gale picks up the header. Cole Barden into Thanawat, back into Mayunga. Dwight Gale flicks it on and we've given it away. And it's come right back to Cole Barden again. Curran Brown with the ball on the right-hand flank, crosses it in and Lyle T Taylor hits the post. That would have been his hat trick. Mayunga again, just wonderful centre-back play. Coming down the left flank now, Cole Barden whips it in, headed clear, and Tiverton survive another attack. And here's what we're going to do with 15 minutes to go. We might take off Dwight Gale and bring on one of our young forwards. Cole Barden with the long... Th oh, no, he's dropped it off short. Thanoat on the edge. Thanawat with his first goal for Bucks, 4-1 up. i got to love this little, this little set piece over here. Cole Barden could have launched it in. Instead, he sees Thanawat unmarked on the edge, and he just dribbles it in. And with his right foot, Lowenard in the corner, and that's 4-1 to Bucks. And now's the perfect time just to pause right there. We're going to take off Dwight Gale, and we're going to bring on... Yeah, let's bring on Okara Simmons again. He came off the bench to score last time. He is pushing for a start in place ahead of Dwight Gale. Lyle Taylor plays it out to Malachi Bohr. Drops it into Cole Barden. And again, we've hit the post. Well, this Buck CC team looks like to be a free scoring team. Full of attacking intent. We've had 25 shots, 11 on target. And it looks like, well, there you go. We have just, we have just smashed Tiverton 4-1. So winning the first game 5-1, the second game 4-1. We want to tell the boys they have done well. Sitting pretty at the top of the league after two games. And uh, seven goals in, ten, well, not seven goals, goal difference of seven. We scored nine, six points, and what a result. We are buzzing after that start to the season. So here we go. Let's go check it out. Lyle Taylor with three goals after his first two games. Barry Douglas should be in there with the assists, but um, he's obviously got two. And uh, we are looking good. Okay, well, two wins from two. Good positive start. It looks like the signings we've made, all 27 of them, uh, with a couple more to come in, look like they're doing the business for us. Uh, just want to say huge thank you to, uh, to any of you that have subscribed. We've got 30 subscriptions right now on YouTube, and I'm super proud of that. Uh, if you've liked what you're watching and you want to follow along with our Buck Save, kind of click that like button and uh, follow us along. Follow us on Twitter as well. We do a lot of screenshots through the season. Um, and episode seven will follow on from here. Hopefully it will be us getting promoted into the Vanarama South. We will see. All right, up the bucks. Lyle Taylor looks like he might be goal scorer of the season. And it looks like Barry Douglas is going to get a hatful of assists from left back. But thank you again for watching. 
and uh, we'll see you next time.